So I personally love a good hydrating mask and do incorporate them into my skincare routine on a regular basis, especially during the colder and cooler months. And although they're not essential, I think it can definitely provide a benefit to your skin, especially if your skin is dry and dehydrated. So today I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite hydrating masks of various types. And at the end, I'm gonna share with you a DIY mask trick that I think you guys will really love. And because I'm not a big believer in DIY skincare. This is definitely something that you will not see me talk about anywhere else and you will not want to miss. Hi, my name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist and welcome to my YouTube channel. So masks are non-essential part of a skincare routine. However, I do think they offer a couple benefits. Number one, it can provide instant hydration and uh, brightening of your skin. And this can be utilized in various different ways. Like one of my favorite ways is to use a sheet, hydrating sheet mask before a big event. It really helps to make my skin more plump and soft and instantly brighten because you're softening and adding hydration to that skin stratum corneum. And with the light reflection off the top of your skin, often it just makes your skin look healthier and, and more glowy. And so before like a big night out or something, I would apply a sheet mask. And then it also, I find that helps my skincare and makeup apply more smoothly and just looks better overall. Two, depending on the type of mask, but a lot of the overnight masks do have a lot of great added ingredients and with the formulation it can really help to repair your skin overnight. These overnight masks are almost what I think of moisturizers on steroids so can really provide some additional oomph to your skincare that your moisturizers don't do on a regular basis. And lastly I think they're just a great way to incorporate as a part of like you know, self-care. And I think that's really important. Many individuals look to skincare as a way of self-care. And whether you are a busy professional or working professional or a busy mom, that you can really give time to yourself. And I believe that doing some of these masks can really be a good way, a really nice way to relax and do some self-pampering and just some self-care time. When it comes to looking for active ingredients in a hydrating mask, the most common ones we think of are humectants, right? So your hyaluronic acid, that is by far probably the most popular. And then, you know, water and glycerin, along with other ingredients like ceramides, oats, lipids, all of these things are really great at hydrating the skin, but also in addition, repairing the skin barrier. So kind of just, again, depending on what you're looking for. Furthermore, lower strength of alpha hydroxy acids like lactic acid, polyhydroxy acid, those are lower concentrations, also are great humectants, but also can help with exfoliation and over time with consistent use can also improve some of the dullness that can also repair and improve the appearance of dullness on your skin. So let's jump into some of my favorites and I'm gonna start with overnight sleeping masks. And we can't talk about overnight sleeping masks without talking about the famous Laneige sleeping mask. And I feel like this is the one that we all think about when we think about sleeping mask. I mean, this is the one that literally started this kind of following. And it is really a great product. It's got this lightweight, jelly water-like consistency that applies really nicely and absorbs really fast and it's great for all skin types but in particular even suitable for those with oily and acne prone skin. It's formulated with their hydroionized water that contains a blend of various minerals like zinc, manganese, magnesium, sodium, potassium, calcium and these are minerals that are naturally found in our skin and actually live in the top layer of our skin that act as humectants that help to draw water to our skin naturally. So with this hydroionized water, it's really more effectively able to provide hydration to your skin. In addition, there's the blend of hyaluronic acid along with vitamin C and beta glucan that's gonna provide brightening effect as well as hydration. Beta-glucan is a polysaccharide and again here is acting as a humectant that can provide a little bit more sustained hydration. In general, I don't recommend using sleeping masks more than a couple times a week. You can definitely overdo it with masks, even the most gentle ones. And you can apply this in place of your moisturizer or over your moisturizer. That's great for all skin types. Now, if your skin is on the dry side and you want something that feels a little bit heavier or just a little bit extra oomph, one that I recommend checking out is from Youth to the People, Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. This is a thicker, creamier formulation that I think works beautifully on dry skin 
It contains a lipid stable vitamin C called detrahexyl decal ascorbate, so a lipid soluble vitamin C, and as well as vitamin E, other antioxidants, squalene, and vitamin B and allotoin. So great ingredients that's going to help to soothe the skin barrier, hydrate the skin, and with your vitamin C can help to brighten your complexion and even maybe target some of those dark spots that you may have. I think this is a great formulation for those with more mature skin that often are kind of dry at baseline to use few times a week in place of your moisturizer. I think this is a great option. Conversely, if you're kind of in between, you want something that's a little bit heavier than the Laneige, but not something that's super thick and maybe uh, feel heavy and greasy on your skin, I recommend checking out the Drunk Elephant, their F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial. This has a kind of a thicker, creamy, but kind of a like a jelly-like texture and it adds more hydration, provides more softening of the skin, but doesn't feel super heavy or, or greasy. It actually absorbs really quickly. It contains natural uh, moisturizing factors along with what they call F vitamin, which is basically a blend of fatty acids. So it helps to hydrate your skin, but also help with your skin barrier repair. Another great one that can be used in place of a moisturizer or over your moisturizer a few times a week for that additional hydration that you may need. So if you're looking for a hydrating mask that also has brightening benefits, I recommend checking out the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. This has a blend of hyaluronic acids and lactic as well as glycolic acid and fruit enzymes. That's going to help with not only acting as humectants to help hydrate the skin, as well as over time really improve some of that dullness and provide gentle exfoliation. Uh, this one is a water jelly texture and so it goes on really nicely, really suitable for those with more oily to normal skin. With dry skin, I think you can definitely use it. This one though does, I have exper experienced some pilling with this, especially if I apply this over a thicker moisturizer. So this is probably one that I would not recommend layering on top of thicker moisturizers. You probably would want to use it by itself as a, your moisturizer or consider applying more of a water gel cream light moisturizer before you apply this one if you do have more dry skin. Now I want to share some of my favorite sheet masks because sheet masks although they're you don't leave them out overnight can really instantly brighten your skin and the idea behind sheet mask is it's got concentrated ingredients and with the occlusion of the mask over your face can really instantly perk up dehydrated skin. I use them on a regular basis maybe once a week now that I have a, a kid I used to use them more frequently but once a week I think it's a great way and also like I said I love using sheet masks before a big event it really helps to instantly brighten my skin make soften my skin and just makes the skincare and makeup apply much more smoothly and look nicer so two of my favorites Mediheal their natural moisturizing factor and this one has just got a really good blend of hyaluronic acid that is just very soothing it's got um, polyglutamic acid in there a lot of great humectants and I just put on my skin all over and often there's more serum than really you need and so whatever is left over I just put on my neck on my chest on my hands really everywhere so that's a really good one I love to use and the other one I love is from Tatcha their luminous dewy skin mask and this one has Tatcha's famous blend of fermented extracts so green tea algae rice in addition to licorice so those are two of my favorite sheet masks now as promised I want to share with you a favorite DIY mask that I actually still do to this day. I did a lot in, in college and I find it as a great way to repurpose skincare that otherwise would have gone to waste. And I hate wasting skincare products. And how you use it is basically you buy these sheet mask pills or tablets. You can easily find them on Amazon and I'll link them below. And you literally with whatever essence you have on hand that you like. So I've done this with my SK2 essence and I love doing it with my Tatcha the essence. What you can do is find a little bowl or something or sometimes with the essences the inside of the the cap you can basically use as a little kind of container to pour the essence into but the whole idea behind it is is you open up these capsules and you just drop the capsule into your little bowl or the inside of that essence cap and then you just 
pour the essence into it and instantly this will kind of absorb all that liquid and soak up and expand and then you can open it and literally it's a sheet mask and then I just put that on my skin and let it sit for you know five minutes maybe ten minutes at most and there I'm basically just getting the additional benefit of the essence but using it in a sheet mask form and this is a great way to repurpose products that I don't regularly use and that I don't want them to go to waste the one thing you want to just be careful of is number one you want to make sure that you pour enough essence or toner in here so that way it saturates the cotton sheet mask and two because it's cotton it's going to dry out a little more quickly than your traditional sheet mask so you definitely just want to be mindful you don't want to let it this dry on your skin otherwise it could pull more water out of your skin just cause your skin to feel more dry drier afterwards so let me know if you end up trying this trick I would love to hear what you think so that's it those are my top hydrating masks and comment below if you've tried any of these or let me know what is your favorite one I would love to try and as always if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can find more information in fact a while back I shared an Instagram post that really kind of decodes the basics of masks in general so you can check that out I'll link it in the description box below definitely can check that out on my Instagram at derm.talk until next time I'll talk to you guys soon